for Dr. Banerjee. How's your experience been at the training? I think it's been good. I learned a lot. At least learned what I came for. So it's been good to kind of see all the procedures, get some done. And then getting excited to take it back to the yeah. clinic. All right. So the hands-on was helpful for you? Yeah, the hands-on is good. I mean, I like to kind of watch more. I like to, I learned more by just watching and get all my thoughts together. So I think it's enough procedures and ready to get on board and start doing some of them and see how the responses are from there. But the training was good. I think it was well-timed, well-structured, had information. It didn't feel like it was information overload and well spaced out, at least from my understanding. It was very well paced out for me. In our practice, we've got a lot of things from A to maybe S or T until now, but now we've got everything from T to Z. Awesome. So we wanted to make it into a really holistic experience for the patient, offer them you know, complementary conventional approaches, show them the good and the bad of each side, have options available for them. So regenerative medicine was something that my wife and me had been thinking for a while. We just didn't know like which direction and how we would do it, which is why we first started with PRP, started seeing some good results. And now I think with the stem cell exosomal introduction, um, it's not so much of the patients asking, it's the direction that we always wanted to take, steps towards it. So you would recommend the R3 training to others interested in adding that T to Z portion? Absolutely, absolutely. 